Thank you, Nadine. And I'm sure everyone would agree here. NIHR will be as proud of you as you being proud of being part of it. So it's people like you who make organizations like this and uh, fantastic. So that really draws our panel to close. And ladies and gentlemen, may I just ask you to join me in thanking our panelists for their honest and valuable insights. So... So we've heard four different perspectives on IHR and its impact, and I think there are a few other things I'd like to finish off before you leave uh, for lunch. Uh, there are two exhibits out there. The first exhibit is set up in the Britain Lounge, uh, and you could meet uh, NIHR here, NIHR experts, specialists, clinicians, nurses, and other partner groups are grouped into four zones. The first one, better evidence for better health. The second, patients and public making difference to world-class research. The third, an engine for growth. And the fourth is developing research leaders of the future. The second is the NIHR gallery, which is set up in the Whittle Room, just outside here. And this will showcase the historic, present, and possible future direction of NIHR work and some of the technologies, innovations that have been developed by researchers funded by NIHR, which are changing the lives of patients today. Also, there's a little postcard in your bags, which I'm sure, I'm not sure how many of you have opened them. There might be a little message about your BRC application, you never know. Uh, uh, I think it also has a small little area there which will allow you, if you have any questions, you would like to put them in the postcard and then drop them outside. We have an interactive session at the end of today, and some of these questions will be answered by the leadership and the NIHR community. So on that note, thank you for being here this morning, and enjoy the lunch. Thank you.